Jesus, this is dusty. Right, everyone. Uh, welcome. Wait, is that even recording? Yes, it's recording. Start again. Right, everyone. I am back. As you can see, yes, it's me. 360. This is me. I am back. Uh, I am not dead. And, uh, and I am back here to making these, these videos, if you like. Make it short and sweet. I took a bit of time off because, um, because, hang on, is that even recording? Yes, it is. Right. Make it short and sweet. I am back. I took a bit of time off because basically I, I well, I figured that I was kind of sucking the fun out of it and, uh, it was becoming more of a, if you like, chore over what I originally started it to be, which was a bit of fun. And uh, having two videos a week, yeah, it was good, it was fun. But uh, it wasn't really, I didn't really figure find it as like, as fun to do. Um, Cause you know, you have to think, oh, well, what am I gonna do for Sunday? Maybe I'll put that bit there into the next video. And I think you get the point. Anyway, I've got a bit of a cold, so uh, basically my throat gets blocked up, so if there's a lot of cuts in it, like there's about to be one just now, it's because of my throat. Uh, I filmed a video two weeks ago, I think it was now, on the trusty Suzuki dirt bike over here. Uh, to my left, expect to be to your right, right there. Great, brilliant machine. I did the Q&A. Damn it, my throat's bad. I basically just did the Q&A on it, and... Um, I just I figured that I'm gonna give it a few weeks before I upload it because I kind of wanted to give it a bit of a break. So here I am coming back now. I think we're at like one and a half thousand subscribers now. It's pretty crazy. Also the videos probably won't be two videos a week. I don't know. I'm just gonna make them. I'll do them consistently now, um, but I'm just gonna make them as like upload them as I make them. So it might be like one a week or there might be three in a week i don't know or it might be one every week and a half it just really depends when i come up with an idea i'll film a video and i'll spend a bit more time editing it hopefully and uh it'll be a better video right everyone right everyone welcome back to uh to a new video i said last video I'd do a bit of a q a so this week instead of filming something i've just uh just gonna talk and do the Q&A like I said I would. I flicked through the comments and screenshotted the questions, so I'm, if I missed out your video, if I missed out your question, I'm sorry. And uh, just send it again, and I'll I'll answer it through text. I'll maybe do one of these Q&As again, uh, again in the future. The first question is, who will it be? Here it is. Hopefully you can see that. Morgan Edwards, why do you not have a scraper tractor? Right, let's answer that question. Hang on, put my phone back in my pocket. I've got the tightest jeans I own on today, so it's a bit annoying, but however. Right. Why do you not why do we not own a scraper tractor? Well, reason being, um we don't actually need one at this moment of time. You know, the case, we put it on the back of the Case Farmer 115U, it does, it fits in 95% of the places that we would scrape anyway. And uh, for just now, there's uh, much better things we could spend the money on than a scraper tractor. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, yeah, and moving on to the next question. What's your opinion on the AdBlue? Uh, who's that? LS Shetland. Right, my opinion on the AdBlue is, um, I think, I understand why they put it on it, I don't disagree with it, um, but to be honest with you, I think it's hassle, it's just, yeah, it's another thing you have to buy, but then again, um, it's all to do with emission stuff and keep the air clean, so... I admit this, uh, we do use a lot of diesel through the tractor, uh, so I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing, I just think it's kind of annoying having to, uh, you know, it's always something as well as the diesel you have to put in it, it's just another, and basically another thing to burn your money away. Q&A, could you talk about the old buildings on the farm, what age are they, and what are they used for? Also, I'd love to see fencing video. How do you put strainers in, tighten wire, etc. Uh, et right, well, 
let's start with the old old uh, old buildings um, this farm my granddad first bought it was way 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 back and uh, and when was it it was well anyway there was a couple of old buildings a few of them got knocked down just because they were too small for the equipment and uh, you know a bit inconvenient places uh, but there's still one one building we still use we call it the long shed because it's very it's very narrow but it's very long at the same time so it's you know you, if you're putting a bit of machinery up, up the very back to get it out you then have to empty the whole shed and the shed's like I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure it's over 100 foot long anyway and usually it's filled up with calves, cake, um, which cake I mean cattle feed not like the cake, chocolate cake and uh, machinery and straw at the back um, but this year there's no straw in it, it's just machinery and calves and uh, cake and whatnot in it this year uh, and that's pretty much it, there's an old ruin up there as well that's not used for anything um, we got an old pigsty up the top which we used for uh, storage like scaffold and sleepers uh, not sleepers uh, um, you know just general odd bits that you don't necessarily want to throw out but as well as you don't want lying around and then we got uh, it's an old uh, I think it's a milking parlour or is it it's a cow shed I think it was a milking parlour um, we use that just for another like garage kind of thing and uh, then we got the workshop garage as well down the bottom of the yard fencing videos uh, yeah sure I can make a fencing video there won't be anything putting strainers in because I've already put all the strainers in um, I personally don't do very much fencing um, but yeah if you want to see I, I can do a video on it no bother do that throughout the winter time though so hopefully that answers your question and uh, thank you for the comment Irish Green Pastures Q&A why do you not wear goggles when grinding um, to be honest with you I know I should wear goggles it's just kind of one of those things that you, th that, uh, you think oh well, I can get away with it I'm just grinding this a little bit but yeah I completely agree with you you should wear goggles when you're grinding and uh, stop stuff flying into your eyes because you've only got one set of eyes right next question what scraper will you get if you get oh what scraper tractor um, to be honest with you I don't know it'll probably be like uh, David Brown and uh, a Massey Ferguson 135 and whatnot would be good, but I personally think they're overpriced. You're paying for the name Massey, which they are good tractors and all, but uh, you know you can get some much, uh, you can get some decent tractors for half the price if you know what I mean. Will you buy the Massey? Right, this is a bit of a story here. The Massey that we had up on demo, it was uh, kitted out kitted out with I think near enough all the upgrades you could get on it, it was top of the range um, 5713S with a you know cab suspension all these fast coupler for the loaded pipes and all sorts of stuff multi-function joysticks and uh, we haven't got a price on it yet so we don't definitely know this but I can I really doubt we're gonna buy that exact tractor um, just because of the just because of the Um, the price it'll be and it doesn't really fit in the sheds as well there is a uh, also there's two dealers we got that we use a Massey dealer and a case dealer and the case case dealer is giving us uh, prices for the case max and 115 I now this is my opinion and uh, I'm sure there'll be some people that will completely disagree with me but I don't like case um, over the Massey anyway I think if I think the bigger ones like the Puma and the Optimum and stuff like that uh, and the older Maxims and whatnot are okay but as far as what I've seen the newer Maxim and uh, the Farmer range I personally do not like that's my opinion uh, people will disagree with me I know 
people say, oh, well, they're better than the Massey and they're more reliable. Well, at the end of the day, they're all a tractor and uh, everyone, people will stick up for what they like and what they believe and I personally believe the Massey are the best tractor out there. Disagree? Agree? I don't know. Up to you. Right, next question. Who will it be? Drum roll, please. How big is your farm? How much sheep and cows do you have? And what is your income method? Right, the farm is 500 acre and and the we rent, well, it's a bit more complicated, but we rent 100 and I'm going to say 160 acres as well on top of that. Um, so yeah, that's what we, that's how big the farm is. We have about 80 breeding cattle, not including the calves. And uh, I think it's 32, or it might be 33 sheep. Um, going to expand that definitely in the expanding process just now. So it's not really... I suppose you could say we're not really making money off it just now because, well, it's uh, about getting the numbers up and uh, we started with zero and we're at 33 just now, so next year we'll go get some more and the year after and no doubt the year after that. What is your income method? Well, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that, but the way I'm going to take it is how do you make your money? Well, we, uh, oh, a bit of wire there. That'll go through the mower. Um, well, income method. We breed beef and lamb. And that's how we essentially make our money. We, we breed the... I think it's about eight months we keep the, keep the calves for. And then it's... Uh, I think we lamb... It's lamb the first of April, I want to say, and um, the first of April all the way to the first of, uh, well, about the 15th of April, and then we sell those lambs on in uh, in uh, September, October, November time for uh, for meat, and. Uh, Sometimes uh, so we don't keep. I think we keep some of the calves longer than eight months. Um, but yeah, as far as it goes, uh, that's essentially it. Beef producers, meat producers. I suppose oh, that's a gear. I suppose you could say. Throw that into the thing. Where are you based? We are based in Scotland, and if you. Head up to Glasgow, go west, down towards Campbelltown Way, you'll eventually come across our farm. That's how you get the year. Are you Scottish? Yes, I'm Scottish. I am. Uh, I was born in Glasgow. Do you do hedge cutting and how many tractors do you have? Right, I'll explain this question in a bit more detail. Do we do hedge cutting? No, we don't do hedge cutting. And the simple reason for that is we don't have any hedges here. Uh, the farm is in Scotland, not sunny, sunny England, so uh, hedges I don't think would tend to grow very well. Um, so we just use the old fashioned walls and, uh, and fences to keep the livestock in. I'll admit I do really like the hedges, I think they look smart. Unfortunately no, we don't have hedges, I would love to have hedges here, I really would. But for the farm this is, the layout of the land and uh, basically the climate, no, we don't have hedges, we don't do hedge cutting. And uh, yeah, how many tractors do we have? Now that's a bit of a, a bit of a question that I get asked quite a lot and I generally, I, I vary between the two answers. Technically we have three tractors. We have the Case Farmer 115U. The reason why I'm not going faster here is because I'm trying to concentrate on speaking. We have the... And we have an International 574. And then we have another one. And well, we bought the case of the first three International um, we got from a farmer and he was just going to scrap it. It didn't run, everything was seized, water was went through into the pistons and everything. It was a complete disaster. That one is our sparks tra parts tractor. Then we bought another we International 574 as the main tractor. Well, not the main tractor, like the 
one we would use the parts of the other one for. And uh, yeah, basically the the parts tractor we never got running. And oh crap! And uh, the Wii International 574 that was running, the one that we bought. Well, basically, the engine decided to exp uh, blow up and uh, took a big hissy fit and decided to go and die. So fair enough to that. Uh, so that's getting fixed just now, and also thinking about getting a. It's either we're going to replace that case formal, um but we might keep it for another few years and just get a get a, a proper second tractor. Like have you ever thought of buying a farm quad and who else helps you on your farm? No, uh, I'll, no, um, I've never thought about buying a farm quad. I don't like them. I think they're dangerous. They suit farms. They suit some farmers and that's fine, but this farm they do not suit. Too many hills, too many dangerous places for them and uh, then you could say, well, buy it and then only use it on the fields. Well. You know, if we buy it, it's going to be sitting there and we're going to say, oh, we need to get to the top of the hill or onto the moss or something and I'll say, oh, I'll just take the quad bike and I'll get flipped and someone will get hurt. And it's not just down to stupid driving. It's purely down to the terrain is far too dangerous for them. So that's the reason why. Agree or disagree. It's not going to change the answer. No, we're not going to get one. Who else helps you on your farm? Me, my dad and my brother run the farm and also my granddad comes down he used to own the farm and my granddad just basically just kills rats and picks up an occasional plastic bag gets blown around the place um, so yeah that's that question next question Q&A what grain trailer do you have uh, in fact I'll nip up and show you that now because luckily it's not raining this video was going to be raining which is why I planned it just to be a QA. and a I was going to sit in my shed but but no oh I'm just sat in all in the mud right Mr Suzuki Shazoka I love doing that. Well, this is it. This is the green trailer. It's a Herb standard dump. I think it's got max capacity of 13 ton. Now it's uh, got a tailgate on the back and all that. And uh, it's fine. It does everything. Every single tipper job we need, it'll do. It'll transport digger. It's got ramps for it. It'll move muck, it'll move bales, no problem, it's a great trailer. What tractor would you like to get? How many acres and how many head of cattle and sheep? I'd like to... My, tra my ideal tractor I would love to get would be a Massey Ferguson 77 um, series. I think they're really nice looking tractors but obviously too big, too expensive, too fancy and too... Um, just doesn't fit the farm. That's tractor I'd like to get. Um, but to replace that case, I'd like the 57 13S, yeah. How many acres do you have? 500, and we rent one about 160, and 80 breeding cattle, and 32 sheep. Do you sell your calves or sell older beef for meat? Can you make a living on your farm? Re uh, yeah, we sell the cow calves when they're older, we don't take them away when they're young. Can you make a living on your farm? Uh, I suppose yes, you can. Um, but it's like the minimum of the minimum. It's, uh, <coughs> it's not something you can spend three years and then go and buy five nice tractors, you know. It's... Uh, it ticks along, it pays the bills, and uh, you make a wee bit of money as well. So, And it's a nice, enjoyable job. At times. Um, I've got a good few video ideas. Uh, so thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And, uh, what was it? Oh no, that's what I say at the end, damn it.
thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.